Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, line segment CD dissects uh, this uh, triangle uh, in such a way that this uh, line segment uh, AC is equal to this side length uh, BD. And furthermore, uh, this uh, angle uh, CAB is uh, 2 times x. This angle uh, ACD is uh, 6 times x. And finally, this uh, angle uh, BCD is uh, 90 degrees minus x. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. Before we do anything else, we must find this angle ABC. And here's our next step. We know that this side length AC is congruent to this side length BD. Let me call this side length lowercase a. Then this side length is going to be lowercase a as well. And let me label uh, this uh, side length uh, c, d as uh, lowercase b. And here's our next step. Uh, let's go ahead and draw some auxiliary lines in order to make uh, our job easy. Therefore, I am going to draw the line uh, d, e. As you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, side length uh, d, c is equal to this side length uh, d e so therefore this side length d e must be equal to lowercase b as well so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, d e c is an isosceles uh, triangle so therefore uh, this angle uh, must be equal to this angle and since uh, this angle is uh, 90 degrees minus x uh, so therefore uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees minus uh, x uh, as well. So thus our angle uh, DEC turns out to be 90 degrees minus x. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, DEC. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. If I call uh, this angle as uh, alpha, then the sum of uh, all these three angles, uh, this angle plus this angle plus this angle must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down alpha plus uh, 90 degrees minus x plus uh, 90 degrees minus x as well must be equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side. So we can have alpha plus 90 plus 90 is going to make 180 degrees minus 2x equals to 180 degrees. And now we can see 180 degrees and this 180 degrees they cancel each other out. So therefore we are ended up with alpha minus uh, 2 times x equal to 0. Let me go ahead and move this uh, 2x on the other side. So alpha turns out to be 2x. So therefore I am going to replace this alpha by 2x. So therefore our this angle uh, CDE is uh, 2 times x. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ADC. And now let's recall the exterior angle theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here this angle uh, C is uh, our exterior angle, whereas uh, these A and uh, B are opposite uh, interior angles such that uh, angle C equals to A plus B. Then in our case, uh, this angle uh, BDC is going to be our uh, exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, 
interior angles uh, 2x and uh, 6x. So therefore, uh, this exterior angle is going to be equal to 8x. So therefore, our exterior angle uh, BDC turns out to be 8x. And since this angle uh, CDE is uh, 2x, so therefore, this angle is going to be 8x minus 2x is going to give us 6x. So therefore, our angle BDE turns out to be 6x. So therefore, we conclude that this triangle ACD and this triangle BD are congruent triangles according to side angle side congruency theorem. As you can see in this triangle we got side lengths A and B and this angle 6x is in between them. Likewise these side lengths are A, B in this triangle as well and angle 6x is in between them as well. And here in this triangle uh, the angle opposite to this uh, side B is uh, 2 times x. So therefore in this triangle uh, the angle opposite to this uh, side uh, b is going to be 2x uh, as well. So thus our angle uh, a, b, c turns out to be 2x. And here's our final step. Let's focus now on this uh, big triangle uh, a, b, c. And let's recall the triangle sum theorem once again. The sum of three interior angles uh, in a triangle is 180 degrees. So that means uh, sum of these uh, three angles, this angle plus this uh, whole uh, angle plus uh, this angle uh, must be equal to 180 degrees. So let me go ahead and write down uh, this is going to be 2x uh, plus uh, 2x uh, plus uh, this angle uh, 6x uh, plus uh, 90 degrees uh, minus x uh, must be equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side. We are going to get uh, 9x plus uh, 90 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and subtract uh, 90 degrees from uh, both uh, sides. So therefore we can see this cancels out. So therefore uh, 9x uh, turns out to be 90 degrees. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 9 to isolate x. So therefore our angle x turns out to be 10 degrees. So thus our x value turns out to be 10 degrees. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.